Guys, this is George Thomas uh, with CBN News. This is the heart of uh, Kyiv. Uh, it's the center of the city. It's called Maidan. And, uh, you know, it's, it's quite remarkable. I mean, look at all this. Uh, you've got uh, those metal structures right there. Those are aimed at stopping tanks, Russian tanks. You've got uh, cement blocks and uh, sandbags on top. You turn around, you see uh, sandbags here. You've got uh, Ukrainian soldiers uh, as well as cement on this side, you know. Uh, and then the famous, this is the famous, most famous symbol of Maidan right here. Uh, this statue, this golden statue that overlooks this beautiful city. You know, I have been to Ukraine many times over the last 10 years. And uh, I was here in 2014. I was here multiple times during the Maidan uh, revolution. And I remember this. This was the heart of the Maidan revolution when they were protesting against Viktor Yanukovych, who was the uh, puppet of the Russian regime. And there were thousands of people on the streets. They were burning tires. They were waving the Ukrainian flag and, and people, 100 people, Ukrainian people died here on Maidan. Uh, and today, eight years later, to see this capital city, a major capital city in Europe, is like a fortress. It's a fortress. Half the city has evacuated. And it makes me so sad. It's just unbelievable that today Ukraine is going through this. And uh, um, I, I just want to take a moment to pray for Ukraine, to pray for the capital city of Kyiv, uh, that God would protect the Ukrainians, that God would protect their freedom. So will you join me right now? Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you would protect Kyiv, you would protect Ukraine, even though Russians today control different parts of the country, the south, the east, uh, and, and parts of the northern parts of the, of the country. Lord, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you will stand the efforts of uh, stand back or push back the efforts of the enemy, Lord, that you would uh, raise up a standard of righteousness uh, Lord, and courage and boldness, uh, they already have it. I pray you would give them a double portion of your boldness, Lord, uh, to stand in the face of uh, such an enemy, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you would give peace to the Ukrainian people. You would comfort their hearts. There are so many people who are so upset and so sad today, uh, Lord. And I just pray today that you would comfort them. You would minister to them and they would know that the world Christians around the world today are praying for Ukraine. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I'm George Thomas, reporting for CBN News in Kyiv, Ukraine.